Now what's this big card right here? Well, this is where I introduce the biggest standard feature that the 4M has over the 4, and that is Adobe PostScript printing support. This is a PostScript module. Now what is PostScript? Well, printers are a lot like computers. You know, they process data in a specific language. And uh, HP, way back in the day, back in the very early days, developed for their printers a language called PCL, Printer Command Language. Now what PCL is, it is a basically pretty much a programming language, or maybe a markup language. PCL basically defines a set of standard commands that you can send to the printer to get it to print specific things. There are PCL commands to print lines. There might be a short PCL statement to draw a line from one point on a printer to another point on the printer. There may be a PCL command to draw a circle, specify the size of the circle, or maybe a specific horizontal and vertical radii to make an oval. There might be a PCL command to draw a square, or a PCL command just to draw a dot. PCL defines how to draw specific shapes or lines or whatever graphics for the printer. So when you have a printer that supports PCL installed on your computer, Windows or whatever, talks to the printer using PCL. The printer's driver basically gives Windows the tool it needs to speak PCL so it can talk to the printer. So if you send a print job to the printer in Windows, Windows converts that print job to PCL and then sends it to the printer. Windows takes that print job and converts it to a huge list of PCL statements, basically a PCL program that tells the printer exactly what to do, exactly what to print on that page. Every Hewlett Packard printer has some form of PCL. The LaserJet 4 series has what's called PCL version 5. The LaserJet 5 introduced PCL version 5E and I think today, I think we're on PCL 6 if not further. Now that brings us to PostScript. PCL is one language that can be used to communicate with a printer. PostScript is another language, a different language that can be used to communicate with a printer. Um, functionally it's very similar to PCL. PostScript also has a set of defined commands that tell a printer how to print a specific image, graphic, text, whatever onto a page. Now why do we want this? If we already have PCL, why do we want PostScript? Why do we care? Well, as far as my research goes, it's basically just a matter of convention. PostScript was a very early standard. PostScript actually came a couple of years before PCL and uh, probably, I haven't looked it up, but it's quite possible that the reason HP developed PCL to start with is so they could have something to compete with PostScript and they wouldn't have to pay to implement PostScript onto their printers. But uh, PostScript became a standard very early and it remained extremely popular well into the 1990s and I think for professional applications into the 21st century as well. If I'm not sure if it's still popular today but uh, it, very, it very well might be in professional applications. But PostScript in particular was extremely popular on the Macintosh lots of Macintosh graphics software, Adobe Photoshop, and tons of other Macintosh uh, software products for graphics and desktop publishing and stuff made use of PostScript. PostScript became the definitive standard for Macintosh graphics software. And that's why on this Macintosh version of the HP LaserJet 4, one of its biggest advantages was that it included PostScript support. Macs can use PCL. I believe PCL drivers for this were written for the Macintosh, but PostScript way more popular, way better compatibility when it comes to the Macintosh. So that is why we have PostScript. Now, functionally, what does that mean? Well, I've printed many pages in both PCL and PostScript to compare what they look like, and there ain't hardly any difference with text. There is a minor difference when you print images, 
but uh, it's nothing drastic and there's not one that's any better quality than the other to be honest so really the only reason to have postscript is so that you have good compatibility with old Macintosh software <laughs> that's pretty much it but uh, yeah it's really interesting you know when I read into the whole PCL versus postscript thing it's actually really interesting so uh, it's kinda cool to have a printer that supports both I can remove this module and uh, that removes the postscript functionality the printer will just recognize and print in PCL. Another difference between PCL and PostScript is the amount of power required to process each language. When you send a print job in either PCL or PostScript form to this printer, the PostScript version will take much longer to render and much longer for the printer to begin printing it. PostScript requires a lot more uh, CPU power to process and it also requires much more memory and that's why the LaserJet 4M comes with 6 megabytes of RAM as opposed to only 2 megabytes on the standard LaserJet 4. The LaserJet 4 has a 20 megahertz processor and uh, tests I've done with uh, a page of a few images it takes about oh, 5 to 10 seconds before the printer starts printing them with PCL but with PostScript the printer sits there for a minute, if not more, before it finally starts printing. Very interesting. Another reason PostScript would have been a really important addition to a printer is not only with software compatibility, but with printer output. When this thing would have been made, not every printer on the market would have had PCL. In fact, probably the only printers with PCL were Hewlett Packard's own printers. That's not the case anymore. I do believe printers from other manufacturers support PCL. But back in the day, only HP printers had PCL. If you bought an Epson printer, the Epson had its own language, <clears throat> which required its own driver. And what might have happened was, if you printed certain things on an HP printer with PCL, and printed something else on an Epson, they might have looked different. Because they use different languages, they compose the print job differently. But with PostScript, because PostScript is a standardized language, it's printer agnostic. With PostScript, I could print a job on this printer. I could print a job on a Lexmark with PostScript. I can print a job on an Epson with PostScript, or a Canon, or a Samsung. If they all support PostScript, I can print one print job on all of them, and the output should look exactly the same, because they're all using a common language. That was a really important advantage to PostScript. And so that's why PostScript was a really valuable addition to a computer printer back in the day. Today, not only do most printers support PCL from other manufacturers, but I do believe pretty much all of them have PostScript built into them as well. So yeah, really neat when you learn about these things. You know, I've, I've learned so much doing research on this printer. And perhaps one of the most interesting things I've learned is about PCL versus PostScript and why bother with PostScript when you already have PCL? Well, there are huge reasons why. And it's really cool, really neat history. And it's still relevant today as well. And here are the four SIMs removed. So on the, uh, on the bottom here, we have the PostScript SIM. It is dated... Well, there doesn't appear to be a date on the board itself, but we can look at the chips. 43rd week of 1992, right in line with when the printer itself was manufactured. So, uh, here's what it looks like. A little bit of glue logic, I think. Oh yeah, that looks like 7400 series chips. Not sure. It's an AMD chip right there. Three AMD chips. Pretty neat. And this is Hewlett Packard model C2000 60001. Ah, these chips are copyright Adobe. Copyright Hewlett Packard, Adobe, and Linotype. Neato. There's a Texas, Texas Instruments chip right there. Here's the memory module which would have come with the printer HP module, 4 megabyte. Those look like Samsung chips, I think. It's Sam yeah, Samsung, right up here. 44th week of 1992. Double-sided. 
So uh, there you go. And then these last two modules were upgraded, added to the printer later. They have uh, quite a bit later date. 31st week of 1996. So the printer was about four years old. It was upgraded with this. Upgraded from 6 to 14 megabytes of RAM. So if I removed this postscript module and removed the Jet Direct card and removed that sticker, this thing would be a regular LaserJet 4 through and through 100%. There wouldn't be a lick of evidence on it that it was a 4M. So I'm going to put everything back together, put the printer back together, turn it back on, and we will go through the menus and print some demo pages. In fact, uh, let's turn on the printer. Your power switch is down here. The printer does a self-test, as can be seen here. 